I'd like to invite you into the inside of my Gazelle T8 tent. This is a hub tent by Gazelle Tents, which is a division of Artisan. They also make ice fishing shelters, thus the design of the tent. It is a pop-up style tent where the walls and the roof pop out. The T8 is derivative of their T4 tent and is effectively two T4 tents sewn together. I picked up this tent because um, I wanted to use it for camping with my family. And what I wanted to show today was some of the configurations you can set it up with with something like an XPED Mega Mat, uh, different mattress configurations. I've also got a Teton XXL cot in here to show you how it fits in the tent. Now here on one side of the T8 Gazelle tent, I have two XPED Mega Mat LXWs. That is the LXW size. Basically, this is an 80 inch by 32 inch mat. The, the surface that you sleep on is slightly smaller than that. Uh, but the space it takes up in a tent floor is about 80 inches by 32 inches. The whole tent has a floor space of, I think it's 94 by 168. They list the T4 at 94 by 94 so 168 divided by 2 is not 94 it's less than 94 so this really isn't two t4s joined together you're kind of losing uh some amount of space roughly i would guess gazelle would think 20 inches of floor space i think it's due to this the way the divider wall is sewn in here and how it affects the shape of the tent so what this leaves you with is a floor space on each side that's actually perfect for the Mega Mat LXW. What I'm finding is that an 80 inch long mat is about the maximum that you'd want to fit in here. I've got one of these right up against the corner and then they're both, they're right up against the middle divider wall. Now the nice thing about the gazelle style tents is that it's not a dome tent. So the walls don't curve in towards your sleeping area. At the bottom, they actually curve out. So even though this is a four inch thick mat, you're left with more space on the top side of it than the bottom side of it. I'm six foot four uh, when I'm stretched out on my mega mat even though we've got about 80 inches of floor space necessary, I can still stretch my toes out, um, put my hands above my head, and I do not touch the tent walls. Uh, so there won't be problems with condensation with this style setup. But I've basically got these Mega Mats set up uh, front to back. You could set them up side to side um, but this is my favorite configuration because with the door here on this side, this actually gives you a walkway and plenty of place to store your gear. There's about 25 inches of floor space left on the side with two Mega Mats set side to side. Similarly, if you move one of the Mega Mats over all the way to the other side of the floor, you'd have an alley down the middle that's about 25 inches wide. So what you're left with in terms of actual usable floor space inside the tub of the Gazelle is roughly 90 inches by 80 inches between the door and the divider. And this is smaller than what the official specifications say for floor space. Um, but I think what they're probably doing is measuring uh, the dimensions on the outside of the tent so that you know the uh, approximate area that the tent needs to be set up. The indoor floor space is smaller than that. 
Now, could you fit three of the LXW Mega Mats in here? I think they're too wide. I think you would end up with not quite enough space on the right because there's about 25 inches here and you really need 32. Now, if you did not have the LXW, instead you had sort of the standard width Mega Mat, yeah, I think you could fit three wide, no problem at all. Now, if we move here to the other side of my T8, um, we've got my Teton XXL cot. This is a big cot. This is basically an 85 inch by 45 inch cot in terms of the, the space that it needs to be set up in. And really it takes up more than half of one module of the T8. However, you do have room underneath the cot. The cot has a middle support leg but there's enough room in between here to slide two Mega Mats. All right, so here on one side of the T8, we've got the Teton XXL cot. And on each side between the legs, a Mega Mat LXW. Viewed from the other side here, we've got the door and the divider right there. And then a Mega Mat LXW fit underneath that cot so you would actually have sleeping space this is just another configuration for three people and you can see there's not much left not much space left in terms of walking room you certainly can't walk from this door to the divider you can't get over there to the divider without climbing over stuff and uh, so this might be a configuration you might use sort of at the back of your tent using the door on the other side as your entry point. But it can be done and this would be a perfectly fine configuration for three people. It's the way that the bars are designed, you really can't get it into the corners on sort of the door side of the tent. It would either have to sit in the middle or up against the divider wall and you can see you can do that because the divider walls were fairly straight up and down but something to consider also for a t4 because the t4 corners do not have a divider wall that that's going to be more like the door side wall where you can't get the cot right up into the corner i really like the xped mega mats as a solution here uh, they're super comfortable and basically self-inflate within 15 minutes. So it really goes along with the ethos of this tent, which is a rapid setup of your campsite. You can have the T8 set up in under two minutes, throw your mega mats in, set up the rest of camp, and come back after 15 minutes and close the valve. And what you're left with is a super roomy tent with one of the most if not the most comfortable camp mattresses that you could put in it. I'll have more to say about Gazelle T8 tent later, but in the comments, tell me what kind of setups are you using with these Gazelle tents? What mattresses are you using? What have you found in terms of getting creative with the space? I'm curious to know.